Hi YouTube, it's Moni. Um, I'm currently 19 weeks, 6 days today. So this video is going to be talking about um, week 19. Um, week 19. Again, I'm still having the morning sickness all the time, every morning. At least it's not the all day sickness where I feel nauseous and sick all day long. It's just like in the morning. Um, still feeling out of, out of breath. Um, I'm having headaches. Um, still peeing a lot, like every hour in the middle of the night. And another thing that's happening at night, and I also read about it online, I'm starting to snore. Um, this is not making my husband happy. Um, I read online that um, around your 20th week, you're producing more estrogen, and that'll produce more um, mucus in your nose, your nasal passageway, so that will cause you to snore. So every night I'm getting kicked by my husband, like on, on my feet. I stop snoring, stop snoring, and I feel so bad because I don't even snore at all. And now I'm snoring, I guess, like a beast. Um, what else? Let's see. I am exhausted all the time, just like physically exhausted. I'm sleeping in more, which is pretty nice, but I still feel tired when I wake up. Um, I feel the baby moving a lot now, and I actually am able to feel it, not just inside, but like I'll feel like on my side, the baby moving, and if I put my hand there and push it a little deep, I'll be able to feel like little, like little feelings. Like it's really subtle, but it's, I know that that's what it is. Um, okay. So everyone knows that watches my YouTube that this week was my huge appointment that I got to find out the gender, and I'll let you know what it was in a second. Well, my appointment was the other day, so I went there, drank um, the 16 ounces of water. I didn't really have to wait that long. I think I waited in the waiting room for like 10 minutes. And then I was called. I took my mom and my husband with me. Um, so I went in to the room and they had like a little ultrasound machine and then a big um, TV on the wall. And, um, okay, I am wearing a shirt. It's just my hair is so long that it's covering it. Okay, um, so yeah, they had that, and I was there for the gender, but I was also there because, like I said, I am, um, I'm high risk. So that place I went to in, um, where was it? In Sacramento is a high risk place where they check for abnormalities and birth defects and all that. And because of the fact that I'm diabetic, I'm more prone to having complications with my pregnancy. But my A1C one, my A1C is so good right now that I don't see how that would be a, that would affect anything because I'm taking really, really good care of my diabetes. Okay, um, so I went in. They put that gel on my stomach. It was nice and warm. It wasn't cold, which was nice. And then. Um, they started checking, I got to see the little side profile, and they showed, they like checked everything. I think the ultrasound lasted about, I think, 15 to 20 minutes. They were checking everything, the legs, the arms, the bones, the heart, they kept checking the heart, um, the skull, the brain, like they were checking everything. And then, it came out to the gender part, and um, so then they put it on the screen and they sh like you know showed the little bottom, and my you should have seen my husband's face, his eyes like literally like he got big and he like smiled because he knew what it was because he's been watching online like um, on YouTube ultrasound videos of genders, and um it's a boy, my baby's gonna be a boy. Um, my husband's really excited. I'm really excited. Either way, I would have been excited. I just want a healthy baby. Um so yeah. So then that lady, you know, she printed out some pictures for us, which was nice, and I'll show you them at the end of the video. And then the actual doctor came in, because that was just, I guess, the technician. The doctor came in, and she said that she's seen the pictures, and everything looks good, but she just wants to look again. So then for about another five to seven minutes, she looked at um, things again, the heart, the skull, the brain. Um, the bones, the skeletal structure, and she said everything looks good. She says that, well, when I went to my appointment, I was 19 weeks, 4 days, and she said that my baby's measuring a little big. She said it was measuring um, 20 weeks, 5 days. So that's like 
a week, one day more than what I'm supposed to be. So, I don't know if it's my diabetes that's making the baby bigger, which shouldn't be because my blood sugar numbers are, like, amazing. So maybe just, you know, just the due date was wrong. Because they base it on your last period date, and that's not always when you, you know, when you ovulate and all that stuff. Um, and she said my baby weighs approximately around 12 ounces. So that's supposed to, that's, you know, at what it's, what it's um, sizing at, um, 20 weeks, 5 days, I guess that's normal for that um, many weeks. So she said everything was healthy, shook her hands, we walked out of there. It was a nice ride home. My husband was really happy. Um, so names, we're still debating between Damien Luis, Luis is my husband's name, or Mateo Luis. So still debating on those. Um, let's see. So I do have my appointment with my doctor um, tomorrow. And, oh yeah, the heartbeat was like 142. She has an excellent heartbeat. Okay, so I do have my appointment tomorrow with my doctor, so I don't know if he's going to maybe move my day, due date up a week because of how the baby is measuring now, or he's going to leave it the same. So I'm not sure. I'll find that out tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, my baby is a boy. Big craziness. Big jumps. My husband's so happy. It's funny because everybody, even on YouTube, all my friends, everybody, my coworkers were telling me that I was going to have a girl. The only ones that were telling me that I was going to have a boy was my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters, and my husband was really hoping for a boy that he thought it was going to be a girl. So I'll end this week with the belly shot, and then I'll show you the pictures from the ultrasound. So everybody that's um, expecting, congratulations on another week, and everybody that's trying, you know, I wish you the baby dust again, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.